G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com, and today I'm here in Photoshop Elements 13 to show you how you can make a project lifestyle pocket page layout without a template. The page I'm going to be making is for my little girl Lucy's third month of life. So the first thing we're going to do in Photoshop Elements is click on the file, New Blank File menu. And we'll choose the scrapbooking preset and create a 12 by 12 inch document. I'm going to make the background white just so that we have something to work from. Click OK and voila, it's all ready and great quality for printing. Now the next step is to save our file. And I'll save it as a Photoshop document. The date here just so that I don't get confused. And now I'll grab some Project Life cards and drag them in. So what I'm going to do is click on Open and then I'm going to browse to my supplies. If you have Photoshop Elements Organizer you can just drag them over from there. And I'm also going to open a few other cards that I think I might like to use. So I'm going to browse through the prompt cards and add a couple of them. Now I've got plenty of cards. I'll go back to my document. You can see all the open files here in the photo bin. So I'm just going to pull in some cards and start arranging them on the page. As I pull them up from the photo bin in Photoshop Elements 13, they are automatically put in as a smart object with a file name there so that's really easy to credit and to resize if we ever need to. So I think that's all the cards I want for this page and I'm going to start arranging them on the page. Now I want to zoom in a bit so I can see what I'm doing here. Now with a lot of these um, cards, they're white on white. So to make them easier to see, I'm going to select all the journaling cards. I'm going to go to my effects panel then I'm going to choose a drop shadow. In this case I'm using one little bird's shadow styles and paper style. There we go. And now you can see the shadow so it's a lot easier to try and line them all up. You notice I haven't even pulled in any photos yet, so all of this re may be rearranged at some other point. Now, I've run into a bit of a quandary. I've got a vertical title card here that's 4 by 6 and all the rest of my cards um, mean that I end up with this odd gap. I'm just going to choose to drag in the other title card here, add the shadow and keep going. And again we've got this issue because I've got a horizontal card so just browse through and fortunately with a lot of these kits the um, they have both orientations of the cards so that makes life easier for me and again we'll just drag it onto our page okay so I know I always seem to have so much journaling so I've got a few one, two, three, four spots for journaling. Now I may decide to actually use some of them as photo spots, but that's okay. So you'll notice I've got two spots remaining. We've got a four by six spot that's blank and a three by four. So all I'm going to do is hold down my Alt key and drag to copy that card. And the same thing with this one. Alt drag to make a copy of the card and then I won't be necessarily using a duplicate of this card but I will be clipping my photo to it. So I'm going to go ahead and create some journaling. First thing I'm going to do is use my type tool. Click and drag to create a text box. I'm going to choose Melissa's hand and size 14 because so that's a good one for my journaling. I'm going to type my journaling now.
Now we're going to just select all the text and use the scrubby slider on the leading to align the text onto the dotted line. You can also use an up and down arrow in the leading box. I'm going to try a 19.5. That looks pretty good. So, save your work. So now I've added my journaling to some journaling cards and I've chosen some photos and I've got them open up here in my photo bin and in Photoshop Elements 13 I can just click and drag them in it's pretty easy so the first one I want to include is a family photo I'd like that one to be at the top here so I'm going to click on the journal card that I want to clip my photo to and drag my photo in it's going to come in pretty big but I can resize it and because it's a smart object it won't matter how many times I resize it and I think that's good now I can clip it to my journal card by pressing Control G or Command G on a Mac or go to layer layer mark uh, create clipping mask layer create clipping mask now I kind of liked that top and bottom green strip so I'm going to do a little bit of work to make that show up so I'm just going to use my rect I'm going to click on my photo layer and use my rectangular marquee tool to just select a section then I'm going to click on the layer mask there we go that's looking pretty nice I'll zoom in a bit and then I'm just going to use my arrow keys to slightly move around so it's in the middle and while I'm here I'm going to shift I'm going to click on the first layer and shift click on the journaling card and then click these chain icons so that my layers will be linked together that means if I come to the end of my page and I want to move it around it all moves in one as if they're glued together I'm going to click and drag Control or Command G to clip it to the journal card I'm going to resize that a bit so I like Again, I like the little one. Resize that up a bit. And I think I'll do the same thing as I did before. I'll grab my rectangular marquee tool and then press the layer mask. And that'll just cut off some. That also allows me, when I click on the photo, I can still resize it. just how I like it now because I'm not using a template this I've just got a blank background where my last two spots are so to f to get the look of pockets I'm going to just drag a copy of this journal card again so I'm going to hold down my alt key and with my move tool I'm just going to move it down if I hold down my shift key it'll line it up perfectly so again I'll click on this journal card alt and shift to copy it and then it comes down as a lovely copy you'll notice when you copy something using the alt key your cursor will change there we go easy and now it's just a matter of pulling in my last couple of photos so I want this one here clipped there control G and click on the next one drag in my next photo command G I'll zoom out a bit so I can grab those handles and pull them in I 
The great thing about clipping them to the layer is I can still move them around even afterwards. And then last but not least I've got this photo. So first off the image is upside down so I'll just go to the image menu and then rotate 180 degrees and then I'll go back to my layout and click on the photo spot for this photo and drag it in. Move it Control or Command G to clip it to the journal card and then I'll just resize it. So you can resize before or after. It doesn't really matter. There we go. Now you might notice there's this little monkey here in the top corner of my photo. Edward's just using it to try and attract Lucy's attention. But say if I didn't want that in my photo, I can just select that area with my marquee tool and go to Edit, Fill Selection, Content Aware Fill, wait for it to process, and voila, there's no longer a monkey there. So we could if um, just drag in the new copy of the photo, clip it down, and with our move tool we can resize it. There we go. I'm just going to delete that original layer. So it's looking good. I'm going to save my work. So there we have it, a simple way to create a project lifestyle sc scrapbook page. Create a new blank file that's from the scrapbooking presets. Open up the cards that you want to use, drag them onto your layout and clip your photos in place. So why don't you pull out some of those project life cards you've got in your stash and create a quick and easy pocket style digital scrapbook page.